Hi everyone, welcome to module 6. In module 6, we're going to be focused on reading chapters 16 through 18. You're going to have quiz number 5. With quiz number 5, you're going to get two attempts. I'm going to take the highest of the two attempts. You're also going to get the extra credit quiz. Now with the extra credit quiz, you're going to have 50 multiple choice questions. You're going to have 60 minutes and please note that it only can help you so make sure to take and complete every question because the what I'm looking for in the extra credit quiz is let's say you get 20 it's worth 100 points so let's say you get a 20 out of 100 that means that you've earned 20 extra points it doesn't mean you earn a 20 percent it means you've earned 20 extra points towards your total so that'll assist with your effort for this week, we're going to be looking at the labor market. And the labor market's focused on the trade off between leisure and labor. And this is a very challenging relationship to look at because when you look at markets, you notice that workers are always focused on this trade off, on how to balance this trade off. This trade off creates a lot of challenges for us in our economy. And when we look at it, the backward bending supply curve is something that is a relationship between someone that's willing and able to work more hours and the wage rate that they're focused on being charged. Now when you look at the backward bending supply curve you notice it might look like something like this and you're looking at the quantity or the number of hours and the wage rate. So it comes to a point when the more hours that people are involved in working they come to the point where they don't want to work and they want to focus more of their efforts on actually uh, using for using their resources in terms of leisure time. So that's this trade-off. It doesn't matter what the wage is. If you're working overtime and you're working nine hours a week, you'd rather be home than work the additional hours. And that's the focus that we'll be on. And when you look at this, this creates a lot of challenges because the firms have to figure out where is this balance going to be. And this balance is very uh, integrate, integrate into in, uh, integrated into the wages that are being charged. Now when we look at the labor demand labor supply you'll notice there's going to be an equilibrium that exists. The labor demand is going to be looking at employers whereas labor supply is going to be the employees. So labor demand is looking at this downward sloping relationship. Firms want to hire more workers and have them work more hours when the wage rate is lower. When we look at weight labor supply, this is the workers. Workers are willing to work more hours at a higher wage rate. That's why you have at the labor supply, you have it upward sloping between hours and wages that are being charged. So those are some of the concepts that we're going to be focusing on this week. Please let me know if you have any additional questions as I'm more than willing to assist, but I look forward to your efforts.